Is this my mic? Yes. yes. It should be. That's good. It can be closer. It can be closer. Okay. Testing, testing. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Miggity, Miggity, Mike, Mike, Mike. They know when we start recording to be quiet, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, can you check it out? Yo, yo. Vinny, Vinny, can you go? Check, check. Hey, Vinny. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm sitting here. Uh, uh, I should charge my phone. Damn it. There's a couple chargers in this way. Probably you need to be able to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can still look more than cables. Oh, yeah, let me get one of them. It was good. I entered. Oh, Juicy J was on there. MTS Madison came on there, and I wanted her to vote you too with me, but you left. T.S. Madison. Oh, she's like a. She's Madison from uh, Kaya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was ready to vote you too. Yeah, I think she loved me. We, we all love you. I think Madison. Love and I love Madison. We all love you. That don't mean. <laughs> huh. What's up? What's happening with Madison? Huh? Oh, I think that that went uh, that went left. I think your man seems pretty talented. No, I, I no, that's a fact. I think she should have her own show. I actually was trying to make her be a potential full time correspondent on my show. Cause oh, she's, yeah. she's tall. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. 
me know when you guys start. Let me just. All right, I'm playing music over here. Do you want to follow? Okay, here we go. Just checking. Yeah. It's not the vibe, though. Just right yeah. now. Yeah, you can tell me now. I need to cheer you people up. You people seem down. I'm <laughs> definitely not down. We, I ain't down. <laughs> We see no, Sam down. Yeah, I, 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 down. I, I, who listen, down? Who down? I need great energy in here. Uh, we got great <laughs> energy, <laughs> Jeff. Look, don't y'all worry. Joe is coming right now. <laughs> oh, wow. So basically, you threatening, you threatening me to do your little... I'm going to give you your... I'm going to let you do you on your I'll show, Jeff. I'm going to let you do you on your but show, Jeff. I'm about to pull all the way back <laughs> and let you do you. Yeah, Since you can. already got cussed out, but always know you can, you can, and will get cussed out again, Joe. But you, that was a recycled curse out. That's why I, I did cuss you out before, you but nobody heard it. That's my nobody point. heard you it. Said all that shit before. But no, so I, nobody you heard it. it. Like I've been heard Nobody, that. no. Yeah, you heard you it when I cussed you out before. They, they didn't need to hear none of that. Why not? Any business. But, but when you dissing me, child, the world gets to hear it, child. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, 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 we rolling. Oh, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling. Hold up, man. Let's get busy. Everyone relax. We're relaxed. Everyone <laughs> simmer. Everyone is fine. E oh. <laughs> you I hear. Know, you don't even know about that. To everybody, out, right? you don't everybody, know. relax <laughs> right now. Hey, let me set the vibe. Let me, wait, hold up, because I ain't even doing burner board properly. Let's start. Let's start this up. What is feedback on this? And uh, do you hear that? Feedback from what? Look, do you hear that? Oh, it's clipping a little bit. Yeah, it's clipping a little bit. Keep your volume down a little. So, is that it? Yeah. Oh, come on. Is that right? What? Is that, be loud? Don't need it loud. is that gonna be? Is that gonna be? It's loud. Yeah, it's hitting. It's speaking. That's no, why Joe needs it to be loud. In the All right, so right. Oh, you want me to turn the speakers? Listen, if you tell me it's gonna be loud, we play it in fine. All right, come on, let's let's run. Let me start from now. Then I didn't want to disrespect Burning Boy that way. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. <laughs> let me fix everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Joe gonna always be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, sick. Uh, okay, Let me go ahead. turn this up. Me, All right. Listen, everybody chill. I know y'all don't even know the vibes right now. Y'all just relax. I got this. Don't sound loud enough for me, but... Come on. What's up, man? This is Burner Boy. Wait, 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 wait. What? I don't know who this is. Nick. Yes. This is Burner Boy. Oh, dope. Are you I like him. I like him. I'm letting this rock. Listen, we had to have a real good time. We got a great conversation. The vibes is right. The mood is right. Oh, I wish I could turn this up getting my vibe. Look, I relate to this. You want to spend more time? Joe, you wouldn't even know what the door just came on and she tried to back it up on you. You know you ain't gonna find the wall. Yeah, you look wild. Look, look at you. Hey, 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 he about to really school you right now. Listen, this podcast about to start. Come on, man. I agree. <laughs> Whatever he said. Like, you don't even know I'm, what he's saying. I don't give a fuck what he's saying. You don't know what he's saying. I don't, I don't know if y'all joking or not, or if y'all have actually you, you, heard you this ain't, record. You ain't, you ain't I heard it, but, uh, Flatbush. Jeremiah is on this record. Jeremiah's on everywhere. He smokes this. I don't want to cut it off until he goes. 
So we and then we're gonna have a real good conversation. What are you doing over here? How long is this show gonna be? Like five hours. <laughs> and how many songs you finna play, child? See? <sighs> she told me she would let me run the show. <laughs> I didn't say I was said just asking a question. Was I was just asking and, a question. And I think I've held up my end of the bargain, buddy. Technically, you ain't hold up your end of the bargain because you had a temper tantrum. And 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 your other uh show mates, they didn't. Only big big ego Joe did, child, but that's <laughs> that's for another day, child. <laughs> the way niggas say it, child, unless you're somebody's grandma. I am somebody's grandma. And that's exactly what I be saying. When I hear myself saying child back over and over, I'll be like, yo, why do I sound like somebody's fucking grandmother? And I'm not saying that no more. Thank you, Bob. He always looking out for me. So finally, we can admit okay. on this show that Mo is a certified boy. You think you do this month? Well, oh, wow. well, welcome to episode 271 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Budden, here with some niggas I ain't really too sure about. And so let me, so let me introduce them to y'all, y'all to my left. What's your name? Fuck out of your name, Gangsta. No, 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 no. Rory is here. Intro. What's your name? Your name is Mal. 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 Right? That's what she said, Mal. Jamal, Mal, Jamal, what you call him? I'm Rory. Mal. That's part. You're now recording my exclusive Spotify content. You said I could do what okay, I want on my show. Okay, bye, y'all. Well, no, 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 stay, stay, please. Right. No, stay, don't leave. Right. Don't leave, baby. Okay. Uh, and we have a room full of people, and we have a special, 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 special. A girl. nice, sweet lady that's a nice girl, and that always be nice and always be honest. My name is Onika Tanya Maraj. And I just want the respect I am earned. I have earned from people like Joe Button. And that's part of why I don't like having guests here. And I was telling Rory this in the elevator uh, this morning. When you have guests, sometimes you have to, like, give them the respect that they deserve. <laughs> oh my god. That's what happens. Sometimes. God forbid, right? God forbid to give people the respect. Joe, hey, what in the world is wrong with you? No, we just did that. We're not doing that again. <laughs> not but like, no, but come seriously, on, give it to Joe. Us. Joe, Joe, Joe seriously, Joe, seriously. But what, she won't let me talk even on my shit. Okay. <laughs> I, Do you think something is wrong with me? Can I talk? Can I answer that? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what you... Oh, shit, Barb's in the background. Tell me what... <laughs> tell, tell me yeah, it's, bar, it's Barb's behind me. That, them niggas, they gonna need a ride somewhere one day. Uh, oh, whatever. See, you listen, being tell me, so tell sarcastic. Me, tell, me, um, tell me what you think think is wrong with me. Let's, let's hash I it think, out before I we think get you, some good I, stuff. All right, let me, let me be honest. I think that you are... Jealous of you. A big baby. Okay. I don't know if you are an only child or a middle child. I don't know what it is, but I think you are a big baby... I think you never like to be wrong, and I think whenever somebody calls you out on your shit, you have a temper tantrum. We've seen you have so many temper tantrums, Joe, and it's not, and it's the truth. And people put up with your shit because you are a great rapper. So I feel like rappers take more of your shit because. I love this breakdown. Because <laughs> because, because awesome. they they respect you as a rapper. That's why you think they. Think yeah, I yeah, I personally do think a lot of t a lot of times people take some of your people take your shit because we know you're a dope rapper, but it but doesn't I'm, give you the right to treat rappers like peons. Is that do you think I do? That? When you're on your show talking about us, yes, and I think that's I think I think that you never like to be wrong. I think you need to always surround yourself by weak women. But I could be wrong. Like I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I just it think men like, like you're sending shots at women that I frequent. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> am, I off, no. am I off in my assessment? I'm, I, I think this is the fourth time she's made that that reference. So I have that's to not ask. True. Where you're, where do you get that from? Uh, first of all, let me just, I don't... I, I don't, talk to these niggas most of the time. Okay, but I'm just saying, I don't think that you are used to having powerful female voices around. 
Okay, uh, that right. excludes your mom or your grandma. Of I'm talking course. about women that peers. your peers. Exactly. Okay. I don't think you're used to having strong women who are going to battle you down or argue you down yeah, about man, things. You get a whole lot of people on a little insta lock. Go ahead now, queen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. And my thing is, even when you, even when we catch you in a lie or something like, oh, you did say it. You still won't just say, damn, you know what? I did say it. Maybe at that moment, you know whatever, what? whatever. But you won't give me that. And that, and I know that you know women, and we need to get that. Ms. We need to have that. Okay. Miss Minaj. My co-hosts seem to say the same thing about me from time to time. <laughs> Which is why I wasn't shocked that you guys got along the way you did. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> uh, Listen, so I'm open I'm open to being wrong. Listen, let's have this dialogue here that I that I would have liked to have had. Let's clarify some things. And and let me preface all of this with I don't care. I'm shocked that you care. That's crazy. Listen, this is where You don't was, care this, about what? And then I'll tell you what, what I care about. I don't care. I don't have the energy to try to figure out what happened on motorsport anymore. Like that was a, but that's that was unfair a big, because if somebody well, speaks finish, on you, well, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. That was a big deal, and it was a big deal to me because I was the one being lied on, and that's what you need to understand. Of course, it's not going to be a big deal to you because you, in passing, just said something about someone, and it, it just was one of those things that you said in your show, and it went and and next next on to the next. If someone, if I'm the subject of that lie, of course it matters to me now did i care about it every when me and you have been texting or whatever is, am, is, am i walking around mad at joe button no me out for, uh, to, uh, you've cursed me out quite a few times about i've only me. cursed you out once i say more than that but i've only cursed you out once okay i've I'll only cursed you out once and today well, twice, twice would be today right twice, right but what i'm saying is i i can understand you thinking like what's the big deal but when i play back audio of you saying something that you just said you didn't say and you still won't even give me that and be like oh damn you're right i did say that then that that's a little crazy. That would be correct, Miss Minaj. You would be absolutely correct. When you stop the audio on Queen Radio, what I was attempting to say was, no, I 100% believe that you knew who was going to be on this song. Oh, you do? Okay. And I thought I later furthered that point on the show that you referenced by saying, I don't think that you knew that verse was going to sound like that. First of all, can, you, can you reply to me? Because, because, you, I understand that I'm negating. I, I. In order for me to, in order when I when I am on a song, meaning when you hear it, I've heard it. So, so let the world know. Let y'all understand how shit works. There isn't a song in the world that Onika Tanya Mirage is on that I, I have to I have to clear every record, which means I have to hear every record I'm on. Okay, did you, Joe. Did, did you change anything about about that verse after you heard? The whatever the last product, final product was from her, because we said that too. Did it sound like some things might have been over? So let me before I answer that question because I don't have a problem with answering that question. I want to go on record having both of us acknowledging the fact that you, for a long time, you and your sidekick said that y'all don't believe Nikki knew about the verse was on the song, and now you're saying you just think maybe I didn't hear the final product. You said that then too, but yes, uh, I'll, okay, I'll, so, I'll so let's make it, so so I just want to clarify, I knew the you verse was on the song. On the no, we not. I'm, a, I'm about to hang up on him. I knew the verse was on the song. I hate that I'm even giving this stupid fucking song this much attention. That's it's, what I'm asking It was really you. about you. That's what and I'm that's asking the whole thing. you. It was, like, no, no, no. It was really like, about you because... This is what everybody on live needs to understand. It wasn't about the song. It was that you did it with that song, and then you did it with this song, uh, Hot Girl Summer, which is, even though you didn't say it like in a mean way, even with Hot Girl Summer, you said, uh, for Nikki to go on live with Shorty, I believe that the song is already coming. I think Nikki's a little bit more calculated than that, and I think that that's, that, that's kind of like bullshit. I don't think that the song isn't done or it's not already being in the works when Nikki go went on live. And I said, hello, Joe, no, it's the actual truth. Nothing was in the works. Mm -hmm. I wasn't asked to be on the song I before that live. That, None of, so I just want to let you know, this is the second time I did a record where a female was on the record where 
you put something out in the world that is basically saying Nikki's lying. So it's not about the song. It's not about the person. It's just about, I think, for whatever reason. You think I throw, all right, I got it. You, th I got it. I fucking figured it out by what you said just now and what I was able to hear through the Apple crack doors after I was escorted off the premises. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It sounds like you think I give you unfair criticism because of maybe a prior relationship or like, it just sounds like you think I treat you unfairly. Yes, I when, think that women you, hate. You think I hate women? No, and I don't know because like, I don't. I don't watch enough to know. I just hear and see what you say about me. So when I make a statement and then you uh, negate what I've said, then it's basically painting me out to be a liar. I don't like that. I take offense to that. Okay. I'd rather you go in there and say Nikki's a bitch. Nikki's never. Nikki's a, uh, always you know she's habitually late she's this or that well like I nice. don't care it's certain things that about my it's certain things about myself if somebody says that about me I know who I am I'm not mad at who I am but the lying thing it does get I, I am gonna take it personal if two times I did a song with a female and you put out a narrative that wasn't true and then when I said it's not true you still don't believe me. So you have to understand that there are people that are going to believe you. Now they're thinking, oh, this psycho bitch just begin up on her platform lying. And I just want you to understand that that's not okay. And when people say, oh, you shouldn't care, or you or, or you in, in your feelings, bitch, fuck you too if you think that I'm in my feelings or I'm whatever the fuck you think. Because I am me, I'm a human being, and I, and I have to defend myself because there's nobody else out there defending Onika Tanya Mirage. So I have to defend myself. Your husband will defend you. Don't do that. My husband's going to defend me, but my husband is not a public figure. All I was saying, no, that's not true. All I was saying, I'm about to turn it off because I know this is your show and we want to make it exclusive. But I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I just I don't wanted you. Hate me. I just I I don't think my, my fans don't hate you either and that's the point. No, they do. I just want to show that like my thing is, I know you guys are going to speculate. That's what that's what media does. You you guys speculate, y'all have fun. It's it is what it is. But when I come out and, and actually say, "Hey guys, this is exactly what exactly what happened." And then you basically say, "Nope, I know Nikki. I know she went." To <laughs> it makes me look like a fucking psycho. Is uh, all I'm saying. That's a, all. Here's a question. And you did it with two songs with two female rappers, and that's why people have the narrative of Nikki and female rappers. Certain people in rap gatekeepers or people if y'all keep on doing that to me y'all are pushing that narrative do you believe do you believe that there are gatekeepers in hip hop and do you believe that members of the media are some of them of course yes well, who I else mean, would I, be the I, gatekeepers I, of, of hip hop you, you gentlemen so, yeah. you gentlemen you barbs chime in and tell me how y'all <laughs> how y'all feel about it. do y'all think that media members are gatekeepers. Definitely. Uh, not all. Who not all. I think so, 100%. Some of them... Can we, can we define gatekeeper at this point? Because steering the narrative and creating an opinion to me is not a gatekeeper because people online are going to believe what they want to believe. That's not so true. I, I don't know if I can say that's... A so you really trying to tell me that when... I, I you really trying to tell me that when he went out and started saying that thing over and over about the motorsport thing, him and his sidekick, that that didn't make millions of people start believing something untrue about me as, as much think, as i'd like my friend to have that much influence i i don't well then you the are case. psychotic too i well, don't think that's when someone has a show that's being broadcast to people they have a voice of and course. they and they and they can uh in shift, influence shift, uh, in, yeah. influence the way people think about other people and if i'm not sitting in the room to defend myself they then they turn off their radio and that's what the fuck they run with okay cool I, I How do y'all not I know that? that point, but to the term gatekeeper and really shifting what's going to happen, I can't say that Joe and academic. He is the one that put it out. He is the first one that put it out. No, Nobody I, I, else but you. I'm, I'm saying the gatekeeper of really shifting how things move. That does shift things how how things move when, when you lie on someone and, wait, and you do it. And before y'all continue, let me just wow. say, gate, how do you not gate, get the point? Gatekeeper, and then y'all can continue this debate. Gatekeeper to me means someone who can either allow or deny access to this industry. Yeah, and I don't necessarily view media that way, Nick. So tell me, well, why, why you, you y'all, well, both I of y'all are out of y'all mind. What is, you can start a narrative if you have a. Big and that's exactly what he did. I, 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 you have a big enough platform. Of where course, you, you reach certain viewers and listeners. 
once you put something out there, that conversation now starts in different areas. This is Especially if people respect your opinion. Yes, right. and it takes on a life of its own, and then it keeps on being repeated and repeated. And if I don't defend myself, then he's right. If I do defend myself, I'm the angry black woman. My issue with the heat. Black girl tragic. My and it's black bitches that do, do it the most. And I don't give a fuck if y'all mad at me using that fucking yeah, hashtag. Excuse me? You want to talk about ex uh, offensive? I try you? not to be offensive. You try not to be I'm offensive. Not offensive. But see, that's the thing. When you, if, if, I guess it's, I guess it's okay to hurt someone if you think they're famous or rich or popular or something like that. It's okay to offend them. It's okay to bully them. But, but everyone else, Nicki we gotta Minaj. walk. Everybody else, we gotta walk on eggshells for. We can't offend this one. We can't offend that one. We can't offend this one. Man, fuck that. I said what the fuck I said. Period. Just like every day you go and do a show and you say what the fuck you said. And you offend many people. You said what the fuck you said. If they tell me I offend them, I apologize. I'm not huh? here to offend. I'm not here to offend. So then why you couldn't just do that back at Queen Radio? I said I said it many times in so many different ways. I'm like, yo, I told the truth. I explained the story over and over. Let me and tell you, you why. The he, that you, the he is the part that I want to accentuate. You're saying me, and I understand that because I've said a lot. Later in that motorsport debacle, other people said some things. So we weren't just pulling from. Wait, let me finish. We want me, me and my uh, what you call him, chipmunk. Me and the academic weren't just pulling out of osmosis. <laughs> keyword later said, on. Keyword key yeah, later, later on. Yeah, later on. You yeah. and him were the first ones to start the narrative. So how can you not understand that there's an issue? Cardi is not getting her information from academics and myself what? You know what I mean like she's not taking nothing that we say like she was involved she went on I don't give a fuck about what the fuck she think or who she got information from I'm talking about you speaking to the public so do you suggest that we not that we not speculate no I said there are things that you speculate about I said but once I come out and say hey guys this is how it happened well, why can't people not believe you not me, but I'm saying, why can't people... Do you do, do you relinquish that right when you sign up to be in the spotlight? Don't you relinquish the right of people having to believe you or not? Absolutely, but you also have to know that there are some times that, that people like myself will do things like what I did today, which is get fucking sick and tired of it, have had enough of it, and... Speak to you directly Nick, or, or address it at directly. At 8.10 this morning, I said to Rory, listen, Nikki is going to yell at me. <laughs> Nothing was surprising about what happened. Good. Me. I'm glad. My whole thing is you seem to be missing the point, And I think it's easy for people to pretend like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Nobody's paying me any mind. Um, no, You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a show, but, I mean, people are making up their own. Y'all know damn well. Well, that you are influencing people's opinions when you say things about a particular person over and over, especially when it's the same kind of thing about that person. So that's why I brought up the, the Hot Girl Summer song. I was like, here we go again. I'm collaborating with a female again, and there's already from you some, some new lie that you're putting out there. You may not realize that it's a big deal, but it is. In Joe's defense, he gave you a lot of credit for your last album. On this same platform, like he's he's also giving you your flowers. Yeah, I, I, listen, man. And and what we talked we talked about it on Queen Radio, and I guess we'll just reset it here, which you acknowledge as well that you didn't think we were being negative with it. We thought it was a genius way to roll out a song, and, and that's why because we give your brain credit on how you have put your brand out there, we thought it was a really good way to roll out a record. We thought you and Meg getting on there talking y'all shit was amazing. It, it got really all the buzz. I deal. didn't say, I, and, and again, I said that y'all didn't say this one in a negative way. Mm. But the first time him and his sidekick did it, it was extremely oh. negative. Okay. It was I'm extremely negative. Right. This time, so so now, when you do something like that to someone, their guards have to go up. Because now, it's you like... You don't know that if, I love you? It, but, but to I me, said that to you on many uh, phone calls that we've had in private. And still, you treated me so horribly up there. I don't feel <laughs> like I treated you horribly <laughs> up there. <laughs> I feel like I feel, like I feel like I feel like you didn't even want to allow me. You didn't even want to allow me to. I don't think I ever had a nigga cut my mic off in my <laughs> life. In my well, video. I don't think that you were trying to understand <laughs> that it's not okay to. And we'll, and I'm just gonna leave it at this because I don't want to be the dead horse. 
I feel like at a certain level, it gets a little bit personal. And that's what it is. Like, sometimes it can feel a, like a personal attack. I would like I, us to start there. Okay. I know that we begin with a motorsport conversation, but honestly, for me, our phone call, our phone calls, and, and me doing your shit, you doing my shit, this, there are such grand... There are amazing things happening in the ecosystem. And I think that this meeting between you and I, both at your shit and at my shit, is really important to note mm -hmm. right now. My mm -hmm. focus isn't on motorsport. My focus isn't on anything of old, to be honest. I think that you're in a different space. I think that and I've had to dig myself out of that space. See what y'all don't understand is I'll, you, I'll, what y'all don't understand is behind all that other stuff, it's a human being. And when there's a big hate train and that people like you and Charlemagne and people like that are gonna spearheading, get gonna get to that are spearheading later though. and people like DJ Envy who was sending text messages today, but who was one of the people who I thought was my friend who was up there DJ trying Envy to has never said a bad word about a soul in his life. I just want to tell you who you're not serious. About. Are you? Well, I've never heard it. And you know, I thought he was queens. one of my friends. He was, I, I always thought he was one of, my, one of my friends. And then all of a sudden, it was just a, a lot of things, and I couldn't believe it. Like, that was the one thing that I was just floored. I was just like, whoa, him? I've what never... I'm not getting into it. Okay. Because it... But what I... My point they was... They have a different version of this story, by the way. Listen. And I'm not getting into all of that. Yeah. Well, well, when you're insecure, you tell lies. You tell lies because you don't want others to shine based on their talent sometimes. So... I am going to tell the real deal. I always have the receipts to prove what I'm going to say. Always. And that will never change. So anyway, my point is, there were a lot of people who I had never said anything bad about, who I thought we were, you know, I was cool with, that jumped on the, the hate train. And my thing is, when you say things like, oh, well, we're past it. Yes, I'm past it. Praise be to God. But You don't think but, everyone else but, is. No, 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 not that. What I'm saying is, I still had to go through these things because of people you. like you who who made a sport out of tearing down a young black woman who's done nothing but come in this game with an authentic come up, writing raps, and doing what the fuck was really actually necessary. No Instagram, no reality shows, no sucking DJ's dicks. Facts. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then to have people who I would think are smart enough to see that do nothing but tear me You're down. Me people are sucking DJ's dicks. Yeah. People who are smart enough to see that and, 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 and feel like it's okay. And, and I would think that people who are smart enough to recognize that would not join in that. And, but in fact, it was the opposite. The people who I gave that respect to, who, would, who I thought was like, Tag, I'm not going to ever forget the work Nikki's put in. Just like I'm not ever going to forget the work Jay, uh, Jay's put in or Lil Wayne's put in or Eminem's put in. Those people, you don't think, men, you don't think men, respect, huh? no, those people came I, together. I just on Eminem about a few months ago. Those people, <laughs> it, no, excuse me, those I people. I with hope for Okay, years. those people came together, came together to try to end Sorry. me. And sweetheart, before I get off this Insta, let me say this. It'll never fucking happen. You can go all of the, everything y'all want to, every witch doctor in the motherfucking world. It'll never fucking happen. Praise be to God. I am who I am because I am who I am. You see, I don't have to go in a room with a bunch of men who, to, cre to create my sound, my image, my anything. I am who I am. Take it or fucking leave it. But I put in the motherfucking work. I put in the work. Good night. No, 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 don't you hang up now. No, 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 no. We did that enough. No. We did that enough. Yo, we're recording this. You 42,000 niggas stay right. Should we end that? And we'll, we'll still be recording. Yeah, we're going to end. Okay. We're going to end it. And you guys are here the rest of this podcast on Joe's show. And, and that'll be that. But I'll say. Do you take any accountability? Love you guys. What? Do you take any accountability? In the forming of a Nikki hate train? No. Rory? Parks Mall? No. Anyone else in the room? Every time I say something, I'm a bar. No. <laughs>